So I'm going to read a book. It is called Jumbo Bees. Bees. And like that thing, they don't rule. And that's blurred. And it says, Big Nate is on a roll. Nate's a big deal in his scoop trap until Arthur, aka Mr. Perfect, joins up. Now Nate's stuck in second place, and Arthur means business. When Nate takes the grand prize, the wipe out big time. Let's read this book to find out. But first. So let's get started. Chapter 1. I never really noticed before how boring the detention room is. <gasps> I guess that's not exactly breaking news. Any room where the main activities are 1. Sitting quietly with your head on the desk or 2. Writing, I will not make burger noises during Mary Ellen Popkowski's flute performance. A hundred times isn't exactly through Bill. By the way, I'm not here because I made burglar noises during Mary Ellen Pop. What kind of noises? Noises during Mary Ellen Vulgar? Pop Balskis. Is it vulgar? V U L G A R? V V O. Yeah. Vulgar noises during Mary Ellen. Popolsky's flute performance. That was last week, and it was even off of pros. And now, here's Mary Ellen with Flight of the Bumblebee. Bounce. What I mean is the room itself is boring. The only thing, things on the wall are two signs. One says, quiet please, and the other, just in case anybody's too dead to figure it out, sign one says, no talking. I'm not expecting them to have a TV in here or anything, but will we kill them to put up a couple of posters? Ooh, posters. Miss Skirixie? Dog gains its Rex still will I I've never felt this way before, she said. Blah 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 Oh, what is her name? See how it took her a second to answer? She she's all wrapped up in one of these cheesy romance novels. Romance. I said romance. Oh, sorry, sorry. Welcome to Mrs. Six. Is <laughs> what? Let me see it. Hold up. Oh, sir. <laughs> Zurich. Zurich. Miss Zurich Book Club. Some recent selections. Yeah, was it? Just a Passion by Old McDonald. Love Overboard by Tsunami. Patriot Art Lit Paul Pitch. Can I sit down? To the art studio for just for a sec she raises an eyebrow the art studio what for to get some supplies i'll crank out a few posters to jazz things up in here down goes the eyebrow nate she says the sba has no internet and jazzing up the detention room exactly i answered that's why i'm volunteering to do it sit down okay so much for that idea Guess Mrs. C's in one of her no-nonsense moods. Sometimes she's just a little more chatty, but that's usually when it's just her and me. Today, the three other kid, kid, kids in here. Me, Seth Quincy. Why he's here? He got so mad at a bunch of kids for calling him cute. He totally snapped 
First of all, I think it's kind of a cool nickname, but that's just me. Name, Lee and his fur. Fister. Yeah, Fister. Why she's here? She broke the rule that says you can't wear shirts or blouses that shows off your belly, but they know only that she has an OD. Name, Chester Bridges Bridget. Why he's here? <laughs> Bridget, I don't know. We start. Oh, Budrick. Budrick. Why he's here? He wanted to trade lunches with Eric Fleury. But Eric said no. So Chester stuck the heart up, up Eric's nose. Ew. Did I mention just is kind of a kind of a cycle? And did there's me. You probably want to know how I ended up here. Well that makes two of us. It wasn't my fault. Not even close. It was pretty much all the authors doing. And of course I got detention while author aka Mr. Lucky got. Absolutely nothing. It's all of a long story. But I guess I've got plenty of time. Squee, squee, squee. So I'll go ahead and tell you. It's real life comic. Start EV. You'll drop it. You get that. It all started yesterday after school. Ah, hey, you're just a kid I'm looking for. I am. I'm rounding up students to paint this scenery for the school, but can you help? Sure. Follow me. I'm these Mr. Rose that chose me for my amazing art skills. Yeah. Wait! Not so fast! This part of the project is a two man job. A two man job? You and me. You and me? No, I mean you and Otter! Papa. Da da da. Otter, since you're the one of. Since you're so wonderful, I'm going to let you paint the mountain to the clouds. Okay, thanks, you very good. Of this charming broken English. And Nate, you? Yes, yes. Hold the ladder for Arthur. What? Okay, Nate. I am going to. I am to climb me up now. He's saying the word. He's saying a word in his mind, and he says this word. He says this word that I'm covering. He's saying oh brother in his mind. Ooh, don't you just love his cute daddy? Can you make this word? Accent. Accent? He's so dreamy. Ew. Brush, brush, this stinks. Drip, drip. Hey! Watch it, I'll do it, Jimmy. It on me. The leaf look. Yeah, I can't see. You bump. Crash. Wham. Good heavens. Arthur, are you alright? Is Arthur alright? Nay, you were supposed to be holding the ladder. I was. But Arthur could be badly hurt falling from such a height. Perhaps a detention will teach you a lesson. Right, right. I already know the lesson. Arthur always wins. The end. It's, it's true. He does always win. Let's face it, Arthur has everything going for him. He's friendly, he's smart, he's good at practically anything. All the teachers love him and so do the kids. Hey, even I like him and I can't stand that guy. He's just so annoying. Oops. He's just so annoying. Want to know what else is annoying? Because I got detection, which just so we're clear on this, was thanks to Arthur. I'm going to be late for my Timber Scout meeting. Yup, I'm a scout. I used to want nothing, nothing to do with scouting because every time Francis and Teddy came back from my Timber Scout camping trip, they always had food poisoning. I was Ooh, do I look? Do, do I look like I knew it was a hornet's nest? But they finally convinced me to give it a try. It's not as dorky as I thought it might be. 
There are a few lame parts, but those are balanced out by the good stuff. Like the uniform, the uniform rocks. Barrette, click on another sheet. Name sit, stitched on stitched on shirt. Blah, 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 blah. Even the barrette is kind of cool. I have to admit before I joined the Timber Scouts, I thought the OB people who were barrettes were French guys in rhymes. Anyone for Dad! Can you read this word, please? Baguette. Baguette? The wolf? He's, a, he's in an imaginary box. Get an imaginary life. Anyway, the stick. Meeting. Meetings. What? Anyways, the stick. Meetings. It says this word. Oh, stinking. Stinking. Anyways, the stick and meetings already started. Maybe I can make this second half of it. Maybe. If Mrs. Shaka out ever, let us out of here. Look at your watch, look at your watch, look at your watch. Ooh, time's up. You mean you may not leave people. Yes! I explode out of my chair, race down to the hallway to let my grandma unit to, to my locker. Grandma uniform, a duck to the bathroom to change. 30 seconds later, and Teddy Rats, here I come. Teddy Dad is our troop leader, so our videos are always at his place. It's a 15 minute walk from here, but I'm a skateboard, I'll make it in five. I strap on my helmet and push off. I zip along Hayward Avenue, turn left on Pepper Street, onto Pepper Street, and start across the bridge over Beards Creek. Which really isn't a creek. It's more like a common This is warp a garbage dump. Zoom. Coming through! There's a woman walking her dog up ahead. Well, maybe dog isn't the right word. It's one of those toy poodles that look like somebody glued hot and bought to a weasel. I mean, if you're going to have a dog like that, why not just get a cat? The woman moves to her left when she hears me coming, but the dog goes the other way before I can slow down her leash is stretched. Her leash her leash is stretched across the sidewalk like a trip wire and I'm heading straight into it. Oh no. Yep. Ah wham. I sort of flip while I'm falling, so I end up lighting my backpack. That's the good news. The bad news. Is my, is my skateboard keeps going, it shoots under the bridge, brawling dive bombs into the creek, sploosh, it sinks into the oily water. Goodbye, skateboard. The dogs yapping, the woman babbling, the people are rubber ducking as they drive by, but I can't focus. Maybe. Three. Two, one. I took off. I take off my helmet. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Can you skip us some lines, Miss Tessa. I can't read all that. Read it from the beginning. The dog's happy. The woman's babbling, and the people are rubbing necking as they drive by. But I can't focus on any of it. I think maybe I'm in shock. All I can do is look down at the ribbles in the water where my boy disappeared forever. I take off my helmet and disgust and stuff it in my backpack when we're ready. Now I have to walk. This whole disaster is one big arctic chain reaction. If he had spilled pay on me, I wouldn't have went up to the ladder to ladder the detention. He led to my timber scout meeting. Four, ready my skip up to Teddy house. Five, catch the tuta lady in her dog. Six. That's my board in the creek. See how the office is located? Think so. Wow. 
It takes you a while, but apparently you got to do it. Going too fast, Miss Tessa. It takes a while, but I finally got to tell you this. The guys are sitting on the front steps. Nate, where were you? You missed the best day of meeting ever. Oh, really? I'm a little frankly at this point. I'm too exhausted to care. And, Dante no, says with a huge smile, a true has of great news. Great news, I prick a little bit. This is ready to new member, Teddy announces. Fred just rattles a freak drum roll. Teddy does his crowd noise and sound effects. Doors is open. And, hey, come on out. Urk. This is supposed to be great news. You'll see who it is next time.